Hey, it's Trick or Drama, and today I want to talk a little bit about reps and sets. All right. And I'm going to go back to about a little bit over seven years ago or so. Uh, I ended up injuring myself and injured my rotator cuff. And for years, um, just really shied away from doing anything about it. Um, when I went and saw the ortho about my rotator cuff to begin with, uh, he said, you know, there's two options. We can try to give it time or we can try the surgical route. Um, my brother, matter of fact, had a rotator cuff injury years ago, probably at least 15 years ago, and has since that point, I think, had five surgeries and is considered to be 80 some percent disabled in his rotator cuff in that shoulder. Um, so, you know, granted, that's my experience with it. I've seen the bad side of it, so I really didn't want to go down the route of surgery. So I chose to try to, you know, reasonably give it some time to heal up. Um, Consequently, you know, back when I started on TRT, I, I had an appointment with Ortho. Um, I stopped in there just to say, hey, is my shoulder good enough to go back to work? And he said, you know, it, it's it's gotten about a, to be about as good as what it's going to get. So I um, felt pretty confident there. But I did a lot of research and I, and I you know, went on videos on YouTube and I, I went on Google and, and Google different reports. And what I come to find out is, is that if you're not going to try to be a power lifter, you know, you can gain reasonable muscle mass and you can gain reasonable strength through low weight, high rep workouts, all right? So as I started to transition back into the gym, um, starting on TRT, going back into the gym, and, and again, this, this time period here is uh, one month post-surgical for a varicocele repair, all right? So I had a pretty much about two straight weeks after that repair that I was just out. I was just on my back, on the computer, bored out of my mind. Uh, so I had a lot of time to watch a lot of videos and a lot of time to do a lot of research. And one of the things about me is that if you tell me I can't do something, it makes me really want to do it. And one of the things the doctor said when I did the varicocele repair was you can't do any kind of workout or weightlifting or anything like that and it drove me crazy. So for like two weeks, all I did was just go scan every possible thing I could find on, on weightlifting and, and getting yourself back in shape. And this is, this is even before going on TRT. I mean, this is, uh, I didn't even find out that I need to go on TRT until my two week post-op checkout, checkup. Um, but because he said, you know, you can't do any kind of physical activity, you know, I, what I really, uh, I, I sat there and I did a lot of research on it and did a lot of looking into, you know, what I could do if I wanted to do it kind of thing. Um, consequently, after the two week uh, post-op check, and he said, hey, you could go start working out now if you wanted to. And oh, by the way, we're going to do TRT. I was like, yeah, let's maximize this and let's do it. You know, I've been spending the last two weeks doing an awful lot looking at this. So what I had developed through multiple sources, multiple references, was the fact that I wanted to do a really um, high rep, low weight workout. And when I say low weight, um, generally what I'm talking about is probably starting somewhere in the area of about 60% of max rep, one max rep, and, and trying to work with that weight, all right? And so my rep count is 20 reps per set, generally, 33 sets per exercise all right so by the end of anything I'm I'm pretty much at um, 60 reps on on any one body part all right now the exception to that is I use a Smith machine for military press all the way down to uh, decline bench and then flat bench and so it's military press two different phases incline bench decline bench and then flat bench and what I do is I do 20 reps per set, two sets, but because I'm sitting at um, five, dis five different positions, you know, I'm, I'm getting a ton of reps in on my arms at that one period of time. And I have gone as far as on certain occasions to go up to three sets of 20 reps. Um, and, you know, generally I get really heavy when I do it. And, and I, I don't like to walk around in a 240 range any higher than 240. And I'll start, you know, really kind of just, it gets just weird when I, when I do too much. Um, the only exception to that is rear delts. And when I first started working out, I was terrible about not paying any attention to my rear delts. And they were, they were really uh, underperforming. And so I ended up having to... 
uh, really do a lot of concentration on my rear delts. And what I found for those is I, I, I actually have to use a fairly light weight. Um, and then I have to do a really high rip count in order to feel those rear delts activating. All right. And that's extraordinarily important is feeling the muscle activating. And so for me, I'm doing three sets of 40 reps on rear delts. Um, so that high, high rep count can get you a long way. But the thing I like about the high rep count is a high rep count, low weight. I don't feel nearly the stress on my joints. Like even having a previous rotator cuff injury, I, I don't have any shoulder issues. I don't have shoulder pain. Matter of fact, if I don't work out for, you know, several days in a row, I'll start my shoulders ache when I'm trying to sleep at night. So, you know, for me, working out at a low weight high rep count works um what i generally try to do if i'm trying to figure out where the weight should be is i should be able to get that first 20 in and feel pretty good about it no i did something but not bore out on my second rep on my second set excuse me when i'm when i'm hitting like rep 15 or so i should really start you know like yeah this is you know let's get these last five done and then on my third set, what I'd want to do is, you know, somewhere around rep 10, I would, you know, really start to feel like, okay, you know, like these last 10, I'm going to just have to pump them out um, for me. And I take a, uh, I take a fairly decent break in between each set. All right. So what I do is I have a playlist on my, on my phone that I listen to while I'm working out. I start each uh, set at the beginning of a song and then I don't start the next set until the next song begins. So if it's 20 reps on a flat bench and I pop it out in 20 seconds and the song's three and a half minutes long, I got three minutes, 10 seconds to rest before my next set. And that's just what I do. I mean, I feel like it works for me. I feel like I've gotten decent results out of that. Um, so what are you guys doing? I mean, if you guys are out here trying to do a workout and trying to build muscle and you know, you're know you're above 30 years old, what are you doing as far as reps and sets to, to try to maximize that, but also protect yourself from injury? I'd, I'd love to hear it. Uh, again, I try to check my comments at least one time a day. So if you got a different plan and, and you know you feel like you're doing it safely, put it down in the comments. I'd love to hear it. All right, so trick or trauma, you guys have a great day.